Republican from Idaho and Senator, thanks for taking the time today. Thank you. So as we look at what's come out of the Senate Finance Committee, Senator Barrasso has said that basically there's a lot of gimmickry with the Baucus bill and there's necessary merger now between help and finance. What are you willing to fight for? Where does the public option fit into the whole big thing that has to come finally out of the Senate? Well, you know, the government option is really, I, I think, dead in the Senate, uh, although there will be efforts to try to revive it. We had a vote on it in the, con in the Finance Committee when we debated it last week, and it went down 15 to 8 with the Republicans and Democrats coming together to say that the government option is not acceptable. But when you look at this bill, there's really much more government being forced in, even without the pure government option in it. $400 billion in new taxes, $500 billion slashes in Medicare, and all kinds of government mandate and controls of the private sector. Is there any part of it that you like? Well, I do like the idea of trying to bend the cost curve down, which we've been debating for some time now, because frankly, when I talk to my constituents and I think people all across the country who want health care reform, what they say to me is that they want these skyrocketing increases in their health care premiums to stop and they want us to control those costs. And yet when you look at this bill, in addition to the taxes and the cuts in Medicare and the increased government control of the, of the health care sector, the end result will be that the cost of health care premiums for the average American will go up, Well, don't you down. think some of that is that everybody wants want to pay for anything, but they still want to access everything? I don't think we've had the hard talk with the American public about the fact you can't have everything. Well, you know, true, they can't have everything, but the reality is that we know ways to bend that cost curve. And in fact, some of the analysis that we have indicates that we could reduce the cost of health care to Americans by up to 15, some say 20, and some say even above 20 percent with the right kind of reforms. But that's not the kind of reform that we see here. This is a trillion dollars of new federal spending backed up by, like I said, hundreds of billions of dollars of taxes and cuts in the uh, Medicare, ta in Medicare availability. And the bottom line, is there will not be a reduction in the in the cost of health care to the American public and that really ought to be at the core of health care reform. Senator explain one thing to me if the Senate finance bill covers 94 percent of Americans who makes up that six percent who's not covered? Well that's another question that we haven't been able to get an answer to yet. I can tell you to some extent it involves those who are not citizens of the United States and that's one area where we do have bipartisan agreement and then there are a number of others who, although they're not technically insured, they do qualify for Medicare or Medicaid or are covered in some other way through the S-CHIP program for our children. Uh, beyond that, though, we don't really have a good handle on just how the committee is putting together these figures. You know, I always think that people uh, legislate better when they've had some personal experience. You've been a patient. You dealt with prostate I cancer. Have. How has that altered your view of the strengths and weaknesses of our present pre health care system? Well, I agree with you. People who have experience with not only the, the health care system in terms of providers, but with their insurance companies uh, have a, a, a way to understand at a personal level what needs to be done. For me, what it told me is that we need to have a system in which the unbelievable cost of health care is controlled, and we can do that. We need. I think most people are pretty happy with the coverage of their insurance. Not everybody, but the majority of Americans seem to like their insurance, but what they don't like is that they see skyrocketing increases year after year that are driving them financially to the edge. And, and that's what I think we ought to be focusing on. Senator Crapo, thanks for taking the time today. Thank Still you. a lot of confusing details to be hammered out. Thank you so much. Well, now we're going to take a quick check of some of the other stories making news today. Monica Novotny is at the news desk. Monica. Hi there, Nancy. Well, the